hormones which are responsible for controlling reproduction puberty birth and lactation are called as sex hormones the sex hormones includes testosterone and estrogen both these hormones are present in both the sexes only the concentration is different testosterone is present in more amount in the males whereas in lesser amount in females whereas estrogen is present in both the sexes in males it is lower and in females it is higher there are essential these are essential in almost every body function but are so in sexual functions and reproduction polycystic ovarian syndrome commonly called as pcos is a female disorder and it is a disorder affecting mostly the young women of the reproductive age from 14 to 44 years polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos is a set of symptoms due to elevated androgen male sex hormones in female pcos it uh, occurs due to genetic factors and due to environmental factors the ovaries may develop numerous small collections of follicles and fail to regularly release the eggs this ultimately causes cyst to develop in the ovaries the eggs never mature enough to trigger ovulation and hence the lady who is suffering from pcos she has to face infertility the risk factors associated are obesity lack of physical exercise and family history let us see the symptoms of pcos the person or the lady she gets excessive body hair growth due to excessive androgens the hair growth is in male type of uh, growth then there are wet changes there is ovarian cyst it contains follicles it is enlarged and it fails to function properly there is no sex drive there is irregular or missed periods irregular periods are called as oligomenorrhea infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods or no menstrual periods at all there is male pattern baldness thinning hair due to excessive androgens there is high testosterone levels insulin resistance there is fatigue due to hormonal imbalance there is acne due to excessive androgens there are mood changes or mood swings due to hormonal imbalance and there is trouble in conceiving or there is infertility due to lack of ovulation when cyst are develop body produces androgens in normal females androgens are converted to estrogen but this does not happen in case of pcos so during pcos androgen levels are high and can lead to various complications like infertility cyst in the ovary interfering with ovulation causing infertility due to the cyst eggs are not matured and hence are not released second is insulin resistance according to one theory insulin resistance causes increased production of androgens in the body third reason is cardiovascular issues metabolic syndrome causes high triglycerides high cholesterols high bp high sugar leading to cardiovascular diseases there is high risk of uterine cancers also it causes insomnia due to hormonal imbalance there is depression and anxiety now let us see about about the pathogenesis the two perspectives are insulin resistance and imbalance of lh and fsh genetic factors environmental factors and obesity contribute to pcos now what happens let's take a look whenever there is resistance to insulin the insulin is not taken up by the cell due to this the glucose is unable to move inside the cell the glucose gets storing inside the cell leading to obesity also the insulin which is not utilized it releases androgens in the body leading to involution and the symptom of this is lack of periods now the hormones that causes major changes in the body are the brain 
releases two types of hormones that is LH luteinizing hormone and FSH follicle stimulating hormone LH and FSH both are responsible for uh, fertilization now the LH it produces or it stimulates androgen substrate the androgen substrate is responsible for production of testosterone and estrogen FSH in turn is responsible for maturation of the ovum before ovulation so LH and FSH has to be in balanced level for normal maturation of the eggs but in case of PCOS the levels of LH are increased which results into increased levels of androgens causing symptoms like excessive hair growth all over the body. Reduced level of FSH causes no egg maturation for release leading to irregular periods and infertility. Diagnosis is based on looking for symptoms like acne, face and body hair growth and weight gain, pelvic examination, blood test for elevated androgen levels cholesterol levels triglycerides etc ultrasound for abnormal follicles and ovaries the treatment includes lifestyle changes basically diet change weight loss and exercise weight loss helps to regulate the menstruation it also helps to improve cholesterol levels lower insulin reduces heart risk diet help to control the weight gain and sugar level Taking estrogen and progestin helps regulate the hormonal balance. Metformin improves insulin levels. Clomiphen helps in getting pregnant. Efflurinithin, called as Vanica cream, is prescription drug that slows hair growth. Now we'll take a look at the second disorder, which is hirsutism. It is growth of excess hair in male-like pattern all over the body, and this mostly includes face chest abdomen and back it affects 5 to 10 percent of the woman this is due to increased production of androgens one reason is increased level of insulin in the body pcos ovarian tumors pregnancy adrenal gland tumors inborn errors of steroid metabolism use of certain medications such as androgens anabolic steroids phenytoin and minoxidil Excessive hair growth in women with normal androgen levels, regular menstrual periods and no other underlying condition is called as idio, uh, idiopathic hirsutism. That is the cause of this is unknown. Diagnosis is based on complete physical evaluation for male like hair growth pattern. One method of evaluating hirsutism is the Ferryman Galvez score which gives a score based on the amount and location of the hair growth on a woman. Diagnosis is done using blood test, skitty scan of ovaries and adrenal glands. Treatment includes um, to treat the underlying cause of androgen excess, spironolactone flutamide, biglutamide, birth control pills, anti-androgenic drugs, metformin, Efflornitin topical treatments include electrolysis and laser to decrease the hair growth. So, so this was all about hirsutism. Thank you.